Hamburg. Yeah, there it is. These others are all capitals, right? I guess St. Petersburg is not. I don't recommend you go visit that right about right now, though. I'd prefer going to Hamburg if I were you. I think you should skip that. Istanbul is not the capital? Oh, you're right. It's Andorra, isn't it? Wait. Uh, Turkey capital? Of Anka? No, what? Andorra. I Ankara, that's it. Andorra is the other thing. Nobody goes there. Ankara, you're right. So wait, how many people live in... There's five million people in Ankara? And way more in Istanbul? Interesting. Constantinople? Sure. That is pretty wild, though. Yeah, yeah, I guess historically Istanbul is uh, a bit more of an important city. The Byzantine and Ottoman Empire was the capital then. So when did Ankara become the capital? 1923. It's been the capital of Turkey since 1923, replacing Istanbul following the fall of the Ottoman Empire. October 29th? That's my birthday! Well, minus, you know, anyways. Hype. They moved capital because of haters. <laughs> it's always good to do anything because of haters. They celebrated my minus 90th year. Give or take. Loco getting old. Thanks, man. Uh, I have I have injured beavers, but they're already in the hospital. There they are. I can see immediately why this beaver is injured. Yeah. He broke his yeah no, but something broke. It tore right off, man. Um, I'm thinking about going with the engine next. Because we have quite a bit of wood. Yeah, we need to start burning it. I think I'm gonna replace this structure. Yeah. Oh, I should not have done that. Never mind, it was a prank. Ha <laughs> ha funny. Good prank, dude. I'm a great prankster. Can you blow up beavers with dynamite? Excellent question. Uh, yes. Yes, you can. I also did try this in the past. Did I just destroy my own energy supply? I did, but I didn't realize I needed 20 more uh, metal blocks. And we're currently using up all my metal blocks on my uh, shitty little river project. This game is 100% worth playing, yes. Let's go down, name choosing his heart. Thank you for the 38 months. No, I still have one hospital bed free. Maybe these these beavers should not just not be complaining so much, you know? They're spending a lot of time whining. Oh, I'm so sick. I'm just just don't be sick. Or head. Why is the hospital up so many stairs? It's not very wheelchair accessible. Oh, this one has a white tail. What do you do when your beaver gets a white tail, Chet? Does not sound good. 
Is it bandaged? Maybe, man. Oh, that was a bandage? Oh, <laughs> maybe that's what it was. I didn't consider that part. Oh, these are huge. Look at that. It's a really lame looking building. That's just a big square. I don't like the big square building. I've never played. Oh no, I did play a little bit of Deep Rock Galactic at some point. Um, I do like rectangles over squares. I'm more of a rectangle man. Okay, my first half of the bridge is almost ready to go. Helico with the mini painting. Which type of painting do you do? Is it Warhammer or something else? I like the Warhammer models. Because they look really nice. And they're fun to paint. Uh, but I don't really care about playing the game. So I would be down to try out other miniatures. But it seems like a lot of the really nicely made miniatures are made by Games Workshop. So. Oh, my food is terrible. What the hell? Hello? Are you guys harvesting or what? I didn't realize my food was that bad. Um, I think I'm gonna have to set up another farm. Put another little farmhouse down, I guess. Now, it's natural selection, guys. That's the beautiful thing about the Iron Teeth. Some of them may die. But that is a risk I'm willing to take. Now, um, some of them will die. But, um... It will all balance out. Yeah, it's natural selection at its finest. When the population is no longer sustainable with my current food supply... I can just, uh, murder them all. No, I... <laughs> it's fine. It'll sort itself out. There's a little bit of land over here that I could technically farm. It just feels like it's really far away. But I do have haulers, I guess. I do have 61 beavers, yeah. this part. Okay. Um, we'll make a few farmhouses over here too. Is the stream really loud? Wait, was that really loud? Oh, it wasn't. I don't want to hurt your precious ears, Ray Tracer. You know that, right? I wouldn't want to do that. Um, we can maybe do soybeans or something. So I'm doing cassava and not soybeans yet. Yeah, fermented soybeans. All right, we'll do that. I'm a soybean man. Does he know you can drag it? No, I did not know that. I may have to move my, my floodgate at some point further down river. Yeah, I think that's what I'll probably have to do here at some point.
There are ways of, like, me getting more fertile land. Yeah. I could also make a canal, which may actually be a better plan. Just dig out a canal over here. I have never really used... What's this? A deep mechanical fluid pump? Pumps water or bad water up on one side and discharges them on another. Ooh, shit. That's cool. Yeah, there's a fluid dump. Discharges water. Maybe I should give that a try. I don't quite understand how this works, though. Do I have to just build this on the edge of the water and then it dumps water onto the land? Heavy duty machinery transforming the dangerous bad water into a usable extract? I would prefer having water come in from right over here, actually. Um, I may just go ahead and give that a try. Now that I have dynamite, it's actually not that difficult. Yeah, if I do it like three squares down, I think it might be pretty manageable. Let's see. Um, a drought is approaching. Perfect timing for this. Yo, have a good one, Black Light. Thank you for watching. Have a good one. Take care. 1.2k research. Oh, that's a lot. So I want to do the triple dynamite one. Oh no, that requires actually science. I don't have any science-y blocks. So we'll just have to do loads of these. I'm going to try and make a canal. Which is a Dutchman, I'm not going to lie. Very exciting times. All my friends love canals. All my homies. <laughs> This is too far from a road? Oh, okay. Your canals? No, no, no. No, 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 no. We don't make ear jokes on this stream, okay? That's disrespectful. I could just do that over here instead, guys. I think I'm gonna just... Okay, you know what? You guys are all cancelled over here. Cancel, cancel. I'm gonna make a little canal right over here, and then I may have to move a couple of my things, but if I can make water where water was not, I'm gonna save it right over here. And we're gonna do... We're gonna destroy some beautiful... Some beautiful land. We're gonna have to do a little bit of digging here. Why not recreate Venice? That's a great question. Post it on Twitter. People on Twitter don't really get cancelled very much anymore, man. Remember the good old days when people used to just get cancelled over nothing? Man. Then we all started realizing, eh, this was kind of fun, but maybe not. <laughs> now people only get canceled over really bad stuff, it seems. Yeah. Remember a few years ago when you would just wake up and then find out what celebrity had done something terrible in their past at some point? And then at some point it kind of felt like they, they got all of them. And it became a bit of a stretch. It's like, uh, this guy, he looked at somebody weird once? It's like, okay, you know what? Maybe we've, you know, maybe we've gone a bit far now. Look, have you heard about this? Probably not. X is launching a TV app for Amazon and Samsung smart TVs next week to turn the platform into a major streaming competitor to YouTube. The big picture, the app, which is the source, says looks identical to YouTube's TV interface, aims to encourage users to watch long videos on a big screen. 
It represents Musk's latest pivot for X into becoming a video first platform. It recently signed a deal with former CNN anchor Don Lemon. This guy's last name is Lemon? That's amazing. All right. Well, good luck. Good luck right there, man. Yeah, he's probably pretty sour. Oof. Okay, this was supposed to be a lot more water than this tiny little bit. We got to do it further. More water. They should rename it to X videos. That's a good plan, guys. Elon is stupid enough for that? To name it X videos? This sounds like a great plan, guys. Hey, more fertile land. I think I should make this a little deeper, though. What is keeping X afloat? Money. <laughs> the thing about, the thing about, yeah, I don't know. I think competing against YouTube is something that would be really nice. Not that YouTube has been doing it badly or whatever, but competition is good for the end consumer pretty much always, right? It's just that I feel like if you're gonna compete with certain services, Competing with Google on something they're really good at seems like a risky thing. Because, like, imagine the amount of storage that YouTube has. Like, the amount of just sheer data that they have to process. It's wild. Like... It, it really is kind of insane. Like, you can upload YouTube videos that are processed in 8K within, like, a fucking hour. Like, it's, it's really good at, at, at what it does. And obviously, YouTube has not gone there without loads of problems in the process, too, right? Like, they had loads of issues that they ran into. So, you know. But I think having some competition is, uh, is not a bad idea. Just seems difficult. Like, you gotta think about, like, what issue is it solving, right? And there's not really anything that's necessarily wrong with what YouTube is doing. It also kind of feels like... It's a business that requires an absurd amount of time before it's profitable. But... Like, if you're gonna compete with anything, I feel like there's better services to compete with. Yeah, exactly. Like, competing in the, in the, in the streaming service market in 2024 seems pretty nuts to me, but... This is not creating as much new fertile land as I was hoping for. I can still move it a little bit here to the to the left. But I want to see how this works out with the drought. Oh, the drought is currently in process. Oh shit, I thought it was still coming. <laughs> Alright, well that's nice. We don't have a lot of food, guys. Yeah, I'm gonna have to pause a couple of my pods.
Okay. This is a little too far away, apparently. Um, the cassava, or cassava, whatever it's called, has to be fermented. And I think we do that in one of these machines. It's just a little expensive. Cassava? Cassava? All right. All right, now I need to do soybeans. We're planting soybeans now. Um, I would imagine that's under food. It is. I think we'll make a little bit of a road over here. I may have to re do some of this at some point, but I think I can now expand in this direction. As long as they're touching this side of the structure, we should be good. It does seem kind of wild though, to try and freaking compete with YouTube directly. Ay -ay -ay. I wonder if at some point, if you're like Musk and you've been so successful in so many different ventures that at some point you're like, I could do anything, <laughs> right? Like at some point you must think and believe that you can do whatever you like. Competing with, with Google just seems like quite the project. It's very much an Elon move. That is, yeah. It'd be nice if Elon focused on the things, though, that, <laughs> that he should focus on with all of those different companies. I wonder if he just gets bored or something. Maybe at some point he's like, you know what? This is lame. I want to go do something else. Corporate ADHD? Yeah. Feels like that a, bit, a little bit sometimes, I guess, but... I mean, X is uh, not going anywhere, I don't think. Like, people were saying it was all gonna die and stuff. That seemed a bit absurd to me, but... Nah, it's not, it's not going anywhere. Dude, I went to Threats again for the first time in a long time. And on Threats, I swear to God, which is supposed to be uh, an X competitor, they're still just discussing Elon Musk and Twitter all day. Like, that's all I see when I go to threats. They're talking about Elon and Twitter. Like, it's been a while now, guys. Come on. Like, there's constant comparisons, which just seems so silly. I don't know. It's not really for me, no. I think I want to do some more good old carrots. Just some more, or some kohlrabi. Kohlrabi. So the water, by the way, never dried up in my little canal here, so that's good. That's really nice. Hey, we're putting down our grenades down there. Awesome.
Water's once again going up. There we go. Any X feature requests? You work on the mobile apps? Oh, nice. Any feature requests? Not really, to be honest. I get a lot of ladies that respond to every single one of my tweets saying uh, that there's a link to their beaver in the bio. I think that's what they're talking about anyways. <clears throat> Considering this is Timbermore. I get a lot of them. Uh, there's a lot of beavers in bios. But, uh, other than that... Remember when Elon said he would fight the Zuck? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a shame that that never happened. I mean, obviously absurd, but I'm kind of here for it. Also, the Zuck would absolutely fuck him up. Like, it would not even be close. He's made out of metal. That's true. <laughs> That's true, yeah. He's a bit of an android. Beavers and bios? Is that like Dungeons and Dragons? Basically. Okay. Whoa, there's a lot of unhappiness right now in the beautiful state of Locopia. People are dying of hunger. Oh my god, look at this. There's so many people dying of hunger at the moment. I think dying of hunger is suboptimal, no? But, but, it does create a lot of beds that are available again. Always look at the bright side of death. Yeah, we're building character for our beavers. That's good. Did I set up my, uh, my fermented soybeans? Okay, good. Uh, I need to set up some storage over here too. For soybeans. I don't think I have currently got any storage for that sort of thing. Yo, Flying Lurker! How are you doing, dude? Hello. Thank you for your subscription. Tier 3! That's a big boy sub right there. Can we do food on the low ground too? Yeah, we can. Hmm. I think I will. Mm, never mind. <laughs> yes and? Well, that's a bit funky. I mean, maybe I should check for what happens when all of this is done. How many explosives do I currently have? Zero? Guys, we need more bombs. Come on, man. Yeah. Okay, a lot of my guys are dying of hunger, though, which seems like a problem. We had like four people die just now. Yeah, I was thinking about that too. Maybe I should build a dam here as well first before I, you know, detonate it all. You're probably right. But maybe I should s sort out the food situation first. I mean, I should have a load of food soon. Uh, 
Not everything over here is within range, though. Yeah, I think I'm gonna build this dam further down the river at some point too, probably like right over here if possible. <sighs> Maybe I should also just have a, uh, like a second, uh, what do you call it, like a second um, district right over here. So we build a separate area over here after we get all of this going so we can get more food around. Second town center? Wait. Town center? District center. I guess it's close enough. Did you just use Age of Empires terms? Oh no. Oh no. Two TC opening is super greedy. Yeah. I was thinking about checking out uh, Age of Empires 2. I was talking with a bunch of nerds about that game. And mind you, these guys are nerds. And they said it's a really good game. AoE 2 is great. Yeah, I've, I've never really played it too much. Like, I played it when I was a kid, but not in a very long time. <sighs> Age of Empires 3? Wait, they made a third one? think the games are too long? Yeah, but I like city building. It seems like it's more city building and less strategy, if that makes sense. Or at least less real-time strategy like StarCraft. No, AoE 3, I think, in the community is considered to be uh, something you don't talk about. Aren't they redoing Age of Mythology or something? I think somebody in the chat said that. And I believe everything guys in the chat tell me. They are. Cool. Should be fun, man. AOM is getting a remaster? Dude, I have only... I just lost so many dudes. Why, why do I have so little food all of a sudden? What's going on? I mean, I, I did grow my base maybe a little too quickly, but... Okay, we have loads of guys now in charge of farming. You have too many beavers for this amount of farm? I have no food! Like, I, I have no food. I think it should solve itself here, but... I'm actually gonna delete a couple of these guys now, because we don't really need that many of them anymore. Uh, I am fermenting the beans. Yep. We have soybeans in storage. Ooh, this thing really needs to be built ASAP. That's actually a very good point. My soybeans are messing this up. Time for some cannibalism. Do I have any guys building? I don't. Build this, please. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna leave this one at pretty high priority, because we do need some guys in there. Okay. You go and work here. 
We need somebody going and working here as well. And then this thing, I guess, needs to be relatively high too. I don't think there is a bakery. I think that may be the other, um, the other species of beaver. Okay, we're fermenting food again. Uh, I only have 29... People are dying of old age as well, man. What the hell? First you guys are hungry, now you're dying of old age? What a mess. Making room for a new generation. Wow. That's beautiful. <clears throat> well, in the past, my main problem was lumber. At least I've got a lot of wood now. Always look at the bright side. That's a song that keeps coming back when you play something like this. Always good to have a lot of wood, yeah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, more lumber. Batite is approaching. This is a bit scary. I would like to see my food numbers go up. Yeah, I think I should have an awful lot of food here before too long. The fact that beavers can't become food is hurting the rim world or in you. I know, man. It's a sad day, but no beaver food. Bump, 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 bump. Do it, do it, do it. Do you eat beaver in real life? I'm sure you can eat beaver in real life, yeah. Um, shoot you? Probably not. Okay, my food is going up. My water should be decent. And obviously before the um, the bad tide comes in, I'm gonna try and blow this up. I actually don't think I'm gonna blow this up. Nah, we're gonna just leave it as it is. Yeah. I don't really want my guys to go into the bad water though. Do they get sick if they go into the bat tide? I think they do. And I think they will. A decontamination pod is probably what I need. A vat in which beavers can recover from bad water exposure. One thing I guess I can do is just destroy the ladder here so they don't go up there. I think that's what I'll do. Because I'm not really set up right now to deal with bad water exposure. Unless they do it from the high ground. If they just do it from the high ground, it's fine. Same neon. Relatable. Okay. We make a dam over there. 
How do I halt halt production of all of this now? I don't want to delete it. I just don't want to... Oh, I guess I can pause it? It's a lot of effort. Okay. That's easier. I think they're mostly doing it from the high ground. Mm-mm. Don't do anything over here for a little bit. The bat tide is approaching. That means I'm gonna up the wall. Here we go. Let's see if my 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 beautiful setup that I thought about works. So here's the bat tide. It lasts three days. All of this is kind of screwed, but we're gonna bring it down the river. And in the meantime, we can use our beautiful little basin here. Very good. I think it works like a charm. As long as this does not overflow, it should be A-OK. -okay. And it looks like it doesn't. I mean, it'll be flowing better when this ultimately is gone, but... All good. You're a big poutine fan? Poutine is kind of OP, I've heard. I've never had Canadian poutine. But... Yeah, this is a bit of cranberry juice. It's, uh... It's an acquired taste. Is it a river of blood? I'll explain to you what beavers and rivers of blood mean later, okay? That's not for today's stream. We call it bad water in this game. Okay, this is going quite well. Yeah, it's a bad tight right now, but it's all good. Very nice. Does not look good, though, over here. <laughs> I don't know what the longest bat tide is going to be on this difficulty level. I can imagine a week. But at some point, if I really need to, I can always dig out all of the water here. Like, create more depth. Should be A-OK. -okay. Loki, you should build a levee in cross pattern, then add a stairs and a water dump instead of using dynamite. Much better than irrigation towers. Build a levee in a cross pattern, then add a stairs and build water dumps. What? Hold up. Levee in a cross pattern? Say like so? Then a stairs and a water dump in the middle of it? That works? Oh, I see. This irrigates the land around it? That almost seems like an exploit. Oh, that doesn't work anymore in the new patch? Okay. That got nerfed? Okay. I don't, I don't really like that, to be honest, though, in the first place, because it's... I don't know. Almost feels like a bit of an exploit. <laughs> Even though, you know, yeah. It's a game mechanic, I suppose, but... Okay.
Well, I guess you can basically just dump water in like one rectangle in the game. At which point you would never really have the issues, right? Like you would just get free land. Okay, so now it's starting to run out though. So I do have a certain limit. I should have probably raced this floodgate over there for a bit. Yeah, I should have raised that floodgate for a little bit. I, I think that would have been good. Ah, but we can deal with it a bit. That's okay. There we go. Dude, this game is really fun, though. It's really chill. You can still make something similar, but it still feels like an exploit? Okay. Nah, then I won't do it. Okay, my food situation is looking all right. I still have a lot of soybeans in storage. Oh, I can't because I need canola oil in order to get fermented soybeans. How the hell do I get canola oil? I don't know. There's an oil press. Squeezes oil out of suitable plants. Ah, jeez. I didn't know that. We told you yesterday, Loco. Did you just pull on I told you so? Nice, dude. I told you yesterday. You assume I read what you tried it in the... Okay. Okay. So, in order to do this, we're gonna have to make canola oil. What do we... Con what what do we press canola oil out of? I don't know. As per my previous statement. Rapeseed? Hmm. Nope, you're wrong. It's called canola. Use this tool to designate an area for planting. It's just straight canola. The game calls it canola, yeah. No, not the game, chat. That's what it's called. I don't know how much of that I need. But I guess I can put some of it down over here. Dude, I think after all of this is done, I'm gonna have so much food, it's gonna be nasty. Like, I feel like I am increasing my food supply so much that it becomes absurd. I think this is gonna get cleared out. There we go. We've started the production over here of a second wall, which is kind of sweet. Didn't you just have a bunch of beavers die of hunger? I don't recall any of that. I do not know what you're trying to even say right now, dude. Didn't you just have beavers die of hunger? In Locopia? Locopia has never had such issues. I don't even know why you're trying to insinuate something like that. I find that highly disrespectful. Loco, I'm back. The, why is the population much lower? Uh, old age. We had a old age situation. I think I want really. I probably want to do a um, a triple floodgate over here somewhere. 
Like so? Would that be a good idea? Or I could do it like so. Like cr <laughs> Okay, now maybe- No! Stop! Ah! Um... Why does the water turn red? It's uh, an event in the video game. I don't really want to remove the bad water source. I mean, I can. But we also do need bad water. Look at that. This is good-ish water. Mediocre water. It's a mix. I can also just cross the water over here, actually. Medium water. Yeah. Aged water. Now, I think once all of this is going over here, we're going to be able to get quite a bit. Yeah, I did see that it was a structure that allowed me to effectively just have bad water. No available workers in district. I do need the smelter to be producing some stuff now. Uh, bad water at the moment is used for dynamite. I'm assuming we use it for other things as well, but it's the only thing I'm using it for at the minute. Ooh, I forgot about these. The batteries, the gravity batteries. Those are really fun. I'm gonna do some gravity batteries over here from the cliff at some point. That sounds amazing. 